636. Check back in now with Mike Apple over at 680 News for the latest in business news. And it looks like it's going to be a tough day on the global markets. It is early. You're right, Tammy. We're looking at a fairly significant sell-off on global markets this morning on uh, a bunch of factors. We've got worries about earnings, economics, politics. And it all wraps up to the month of October, which has not been good so far for global financial markets. Uh, right now, the Dow Jones is pointing to a drop of about 300 points plus at the opening trades. The S&P 500 has been down 11 of the past 13 trading days. The TSX was down Monday. It has been a money-losing month uh, so far. Now, coming up today, what could change the tone is... Well, the earnings reports from heavyweight companies such as Caterpillar, United Technologies, and McDonald's. They're all going to be reporting quarterly earnings before the bell this morning. So if they're good and exceeding forecasts, that could improve the tone. But right now, we're looking at a fairly significant sell-off in pre-market trade. Uh, pot stocks going to pot. Cannabis companies tumbled sharply Monday and have been down five days in a row, basically a week Today, the day before the uh, cannabis legalization went into effect in this country, uh, the Canadian cannabis, uh, cannabis producers a week ago, many were at record highs. They've been down con uh, uh, successively here on five trading sessions. Canopy growth down 26% from its record high. And the Dominion Bond Rating Service uh, putting out a study Monday, uh, coincidentally with this, saying that some of these companies are going to likely fail because, again, it's a new sector and no one knows exactly how much money they're going to make and how much sales will be generated. And uh, some of their credit ratings are not exactly great. Could be a junk bond recommendations. And we've got environmental politics front and center today with uh, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau uh, coming to Humber College later today to unveil the uh, federal government's uh, plan for a carbon tax for the provinces that have rejected the idea, including Ontario, which uh, is uh, challenging this uh, potentially in the courts. The talk is that the feds are going to unveil a plan where uh, middle of next year we're going to be getting rebate checks uh, on carbon taxes and uh, that'll be just in time, interestingly enough, in preparation for the next federal election campaign. It's going to be interesting to see the exact details of that and how the province responds. That's it from here. Melanie, good morning. Hey, good morning, Mike. How are you? Nice to see you. You too. Uh, I guess, oh, that's it. Wait, I, I'm used to talking to you twice in the morning and this is it. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow then. Okay, talk then. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Mike.